what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys today as y'all can see i have a new base right here i just designed it recently i'm going to be doing a base build on it very soon i am however waiting for it to get attacked a couple times so i can show you guys some replays because i know that's the kind of stuff that y'all like seeing but um i'm planning on pushing soon because i know the loot is so much better higher up um, and I'm probably just gonna be using Looney and so a lot of you guys voted for loons to be researched So once I get that three uh, million two hundred three million two hundred thousand more elixir <laughs> So max elixir to upgrade my loons then I will go ahead and do that um, Let's see what it's at. So I'm pretty sure it's six million. Yeah, so six million elixir to upgrade the loons We've got a lot of elixir that we need to get uh, we have two builders available right now, so we are going to go ahead and upgrade uh, our wizard tower right here. Boom, there we go. Wizard tower going up to level three. The other ones, as you can see, are at level six, so we still got a little bit of ways to go with that. And then I think we also might, can we do it? We can. We're going to upgrade our air defense as well, and that's going to take a day. So we've got two days on the wizard tower, one day on the air defense. Obviously, while all this stuff is upgrading, guys, it's going to be uh, a little stressful because people are going to be able to attack from certain areas and do a lot more damage uh, than <clears throat> if I had all my defenses up. So, as you can see, uh, I've got two air defenses surrounding this other air defense right there. So anybody coming in from the bottom is going to get wrecked. We've got this uh, air sweeper up here helping to protect that air defense as well. So I think this base is going to work pretty well. It's already been attacked once, but it was just because uh, there was a hole right in here. It was actually pretty funny. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Uh, it, was, it was hilarious. So uh, they ended up lightning spelling to try and get some loot, and it didn't really work too much. So you can see there were holes right there. Watch this. Watch how much money they get. Nothing. And he's just spamming, completely spamming in his archers and getting absolutely nothing. He's still going, still spamming in archers. And then uh, there goes his level three king, Mr. Popo just gets wrecked. He, and now, he, look, he's still doing it. He's still dropping off all of his archers, just spamming in archers. And he's gotten no loot whatsoever so far. There goes that giant bomb taking them out. They're just getting... He hasn't gotten anything. <laughs> he hasn't gotten any loot yet. And he's used so many archers in those two holes. I'm thinking about leaving them. But if somebody dropped P.E.K.K.A.s there, then they would actually get a lot of loot. So, well, they'd actually probably be able to uh, do some work on the base. But... That's hilarious. So the only loot that he's gotten so far has been from dropping off that lightning spell right there. Now he's just going to go ahead and take out the town hall. Hilarious, guys. I actually had a lot of loot available, too. You can see over 320,000 uh, elixir left. So 350 total and almost 250,000 gold as well. So that was funny. I was cracking up because I watched it live when he attacked because I just built the base. I was like, sweet. I want to see what's going to happen. Um... And he got owned. So let me know if you guys think I should leave the holes. I don't think I should, especially as I push, because uh, people will just be able to wreck everything. Now, they, are, they will get distracted by the king and the queen, but if they have high-level stuff, and they're just going to do work. Um, so that's pretty much it. But I'm going to show you guys an attack that I've had that I had earlier where I got a good amount of Dark Elixir. Uh, I've, I've been using... I used 1,800 Dark Elixir for the clan war that we're in. It's super close, guys. Look at this. So it's 70 to 69. We've used 50 attacks. They've used 47. Looks like somebody... Oh, no. I got three-starred. No! Uh, let's watch... Oh, we can't watch it live. So they're attacking right now, guys. It's a very, very, very close war. Um, this is my next recommended target right here. And I believe that I attacked... Who did I attack? I had to go way up here and attack... Yeah, so I had to attack number 26 when I'm number 38 or 35. Um, but let's go ahead and watch this attack, guys, because I think I did really well, actually. So here's the base I had to attack, Jorge. Uh, and again, remember, I only have Town Hall 8 level troops attacking a fairly maxed Town Hall uh, 9. Like, they're, they're, doing, they're doing pretty good. Obviously, they still have cannons and whatnot and wizard towers to upgrade. But we're going to come in from the side over here, drop off both of our golems, guys. Uh, with our wizards, we're gonna give them a little bit of time. Now the wall breakers are getting owned. The wall breakers are definitely getting owned. Uh, we've got that golem up at the top doing a great job of tanking for us as we take out those cannons. But this wall is weak now, so I knew that I could drop off my troops and they would go in there. So there they all go. Uh, we're gonna drop off our wizards. There goes our clan castle with our witches. Our archer queen's gonna go in there. That other golem is gonna come in. We're gonna zoom in here. We drop off a heal spell to help out because he's got a lot of wizards in his clan castle, guys. A lot of wizards, and wizards do 
work to your troops, especially if you're uh, not healing them up. So that heal spell kept them alive. We're going to take out that town hall in like one shot right there. Freaking epic. Coming through the right side of the base has gotten pretty annihilated so far. Um, the witches did okay for me. Um, they didn't go in. If they got into the center, then things probably would have been a little bit different. But it's going to get taken out right there by that cannon. Uh, they did still help out though because obviously those skeletons that they spawn do a lot of work when it comes to distracting. But you can see we just use our king's ability up there at the top. They're breaking through the walls. We are at 48% guys. There goes 49. We know we're going to get the 50% at this point. So two stars against this base with me as a town hall 8 is pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with that attack. If everybody attacked like that, I'd be totally fine with it. Um, I think that was a good attack. Like I said, stoked about that. So we ended up getting a two-star on that. Freaking awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into this other raid and show that to you guys where we got a good amount of dark. All right, woo! So here's the attack with all the dark elixir, guys. We lose. We use Loonian against Nico. Uh, we drop off all of our loons around this corner. And now he does have two air defenses over there, but we're going to rage... Uh, oh no, low battery! <laughs> how many of you guys tapped it? Comment down below how many of you guys tapped it. So we're going to drop off a rage spell and a heal spell right there. <laughs> I'm going to pause this real quick. I love when that thing pops up during videos because I know that all of you touch your screen. All of you touch your screen because you're, you're probably like, what if I had 100% battery? What the heck are you talking about? Let's go ahead and keep this going though. That's hilarious. I love that. I love when you guys comment down below about... Uh, <laughs> the fact that you tapped it too. So we've got our loons in here. I got a little bit annoyed because they went around to the side right there. But thankfully, they, some of them come back for this expo. And I'm going to rage that up. Now they split up. Um, but these two, look at that. The little air sweeper is doing work. But they come in here, those loons do, take out the air sweeper and that archer tower, which is clutch for us. Um, because our minions are able to get in there. So we're still clearing out a little bit, guys. I'm trying to figure out what I want my king to do. So watch this. I send my king off right here. So he goes right there. The queen goes over there to the left. We're going to fast forward a little bit. King does this, what he always does. He breaks the wall and then he leaves it. 100%. Always happens. Not always, but a lot of the times it happens. Um, so he's going to head over here now. They're going to be stupid and uh, just hit on walls together. I guess that's what they do for dates and stuff. I mean, who really knows? Um, we'll go ahead and fast forward through that. I, there we go. So I drop off all my minions. I knew that they would target the Dark Elixir. They're all going to come in in a herd. There's so many defenses shooting them, but we're almost able to get all of it, guys. There's only 214 left over. We end up getting the Town Hall and the 50% on that. 1,992 Dark Elixir. I'm perfectly fine with that going up against another Town Hall 9. Uh, but hopefully once we get up higher in the trophies, guys, which we are going to plan on doing very soon, uh, then we should have a good time with that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Anything for war, that's all I ask for. I'm not asking too much. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. You all make my life so awesome. Uh, super blessed. So thank you. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me. Hashtag TrueMoltFans. If you liked the video, hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, peace.